Hi guys. Well, if anyone thought that dogs didn't grieve, you can think again. Because since Huckleberry died, Oscar's been a shadow of his former self. He crawls under the bed in Tina's bedroom, which is only a narrow space. He lays there virtually all day, he gets stuck, and he lays there crying, whining, uh, like noises I've never heard him make before. Um, he's an old dog, an old stray dog, and I don't think he's got much le time left himself. Have you, boy? You know what I'm saying, don't you? He's got a monstrous carbuncle on his right leg and every time we take him to the vet they drain it and within two days it's, it fills back up again so uh, they say it's benign it's not cancerous but poor old Oscar he misses his friend Huckleberry I think everybody misses Huckleberry uh, especially Chili Pepper a little blind cat chili pepper because Huckleberry used to wash his face. Oscar started to get impatient with the kittens now. He growls at them but he doesn't snap. Um, he hates being pestered. But he's still fairly good natured. We will have to keep an eye on it though because I heard him growling this morning at some of the kittens when they were playing with him. He doesn't want to be played with anymore. Now look at this. This is Fred. Can you see him? Uh, the camera's not so good. Freddy's turned into a big boy. Overnight. Ginger's still at the, the vets. So by the time she comes home I probably won't recognise her. I hope she's grown. <laughs> she certainly needs to. I think the camera's finding the light difficult in here. That's Luca. Luca sleeps up there all the time. Uh, who's this? Rudy? Yeah, that's Rudy. The natives are getting restless in there. Delilah. Why, 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 Delilah? Do, 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 do. Mr. Chops. And let me show you something. Oh, he's moved. <laughs> Mr. Marengo bugged the living shit out of me this morning for his breakfast. And I got up and I fed him. And what does he do? Yeah, he comes out and he goes to sleep in the sun and waits until his next meal time. That's what he does. And then he'll bug me half to death again for his next meal. And when I say bug, I mean bug. He bites my toes when I'm in bed, wakes me up. Don't know what he's doing now. He likes to play. He's like a big kitten, really. But he's, he's got a really bad temper. If I don't feed him to order, he's known to smack me in the head. He doesn't mind a bit of that. What's wrong, dog? Oscar? Oscar? What's wrong? Oh, he's scared to pass the cats. Come on boy, this way. Good boy, you come this way. The leg hurting. 
Is your leg hurting? Oh boy, come on, go inside, go to bed. Good lad. Poor old soul. We'll have to monitor him because I don't want him to suffer. He's not at that stage yet, I don't think, but I'm sure he'll tell us. He's not exactly backwards when he's uh, in pain or uncomfortable or unhappy. He tells us. Hey Don, you little black thug. Tony Tiger, some of the nice sleep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Somebody out there somewhere's missing a wing. It wouldn't be Tiger because Tiger couldn't catch a cold. I can't believe how big Fred's got. You can tell it's Fred because he's the one with the white nose. I get confused sometimes. Well, I used to, but the other little one's so small that I don't get confused now. Look how chunky he is. Way to go, Freddy. Way to go, Freddy Flintstone. That's it. Eat that tail, Fred. Right, guys, I'm gonna go. What to do? See ya. Bye.